Hi, I am Jacqueline Steele, and welcome to Self-Discovery. Howard Thurman so beautifully wrote, Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Coming alive. That, my friends, is what self-discovery is all about. Wear that mask for. Hi, beautiful listeners. Happy Wednesday to you. Thank you for joining me today. I am in my office with my dog Pippin on my lap, a glass of water, a candle burning. The sprinklers are going in the background, and I'm just rolling with it. Pregnancy brain. I have come to find out is very real and it's very active today. So if I sound a little loopy, um, it's one of those situations in which I wish I could say like, Hey, in the morning it's better or at night it's better, (laughs) but it's just kind of constant. So that's where we are right now. And that's the nature of the situation, nature of the beast. We're rolling with it because life is unpredictable sometimes. Before I dive into today's topic, which is on happiness and joy and peace and serenity and accessing those juicy, life-affirming, life-giving feelings, I want to say a couple of things. If you haven't joined Sacred Rebel Affirmations, what in the world? These are amazing text messages that I send out a couple times a week, not very often, that are meant to uplift you. And I just know, I feel it in my bones that they go out at exactly the right time and land in your phone, wherever you are, at the moment you need to hear these things. They're meant to inspire you, uplift you, make you think, raise your vibration. So if you haven't joined my text message community, please do. You can do that at 480-531-6858. Again, all you have to do is text 480-531-6858 and opt in and then type in the word sacred and you will automatically be added. This is a free service right now. It won't be forever. If you have questions, access um, that link in the show notes below or you can go to JacquelineSteel.com and see the link in the show notes for the episode there. All right. Next order of business, I am out of breath because this baby is <laughs> this baby is growing so rapidly. Side note, and again, an example of pregnancy brain. I've been reading um, on the What to Expect When You're Expecting app, like what is happening each week. And I'm at the end of week 25 going into week 26. And my uterus right now is apparently the size of a soccer ball. <laughs> and so I feel like I'm getting winded faster because I have a Sam sized baby. My husband is six, two and very muscular, like used to be a football player in college. And I am five, three and on the more petite size. So I feel like I have a Sam sized baby and a Jacqueline sized body. And again, we're just rolling with it, but this is a really fun announcement. We are approaching episode 100. You heard that right, episode 100. And I'm so proud of this. My producer Terry is so proud of this. Gosh, I have worked so hard on this podcast. And after hiring Terry, she has worked so hard on this podcast and we wanted to celebrate. And so I am going to do a big old giveaway for the 100th episode. And before I tell you how to enter this giveaway, which is so easy to enter, I'm going to tell you the three different prizes I'm going to give away. And the way that I came up with these prizes was just by thinking about things that make me smile, things that I love, things that I use, things that comfort me when I just need a little comfort. And so there are three different prizes. The first one is the Parker Clay Leah Pouch. I have been carrying this in my purse for like a year now. It's this beautiful suede leather um, pouch. Then along with that, 
Living Libations Best Skin Ever in Sea Buckthorn, and then a Selenite Crystal for cleansing your space, cleansing your body, cleansing whatever you want to cleanse. The second prize is a Magic of Eye journal. It is this gorgeous journal that will make you want to write in it because it will call out to you. Then best skin ever again in sea buckthorn, because I feel like living libations best skin ever is just a must have in every person's, especially every woman's cabinet and some Palo Santo incense sticks. So that's prize number two. And then prize number three is a bag of rise, which is my favorite superfood mushroom coffee. Um, I drink it pretty much every day a doTERRA lavender oil roller, a strawberry quartz crystal, and Palo Santo incense sticks. So these are all really fun gifts. I'll be sending them to you personally. If you want to enter this 100th episode giveaway, then all you have to do is write me a podcast review, take a screenshot of it, and send it to hello at JacquelineSteel.com literally hello at JacquelineSteel.com. If you have already written a review, you can still enter. Just send me a screenshot of the review. And this is kind of fun. If you want bonus entries, so that'll be one point per entry, submit a video or audio review of what you think about the podcast or how it's affected you. And you will get a bonus point for that video review or audio review, or if you want to do all three, write a review on a written review on iTunes or Spotify, and you want to do an audio review and a video review, then you will get three submissions. So that's it. Screenshot the thing, send me the audio file, send me the video to hello at JacquelineSteel.com. And now, now that I am sufficiently out of breath, I am going to get into today's episode. And I wrote this episode hmm, a day or two ago, and I wrote it like a journal entry, which I do sometimes when I'm writing these episodes because they feel so personal. They really are, especially these solo episodes, such an extension of my heart and what I'm experiencing um, in real time. You know, I'll plan out episodes and what I think I'm going to do for a quarter, and then it'll come up that week and I'll feel like, man, I, I really want to touch on a totally different subject. So I'm constantly pivoting, constantly coming up with new material. And today the episode is about how to access true happiness anytime, anywhere. And this subject has been heavy on my mind as we enter the holidays. Sometimes the holidays can feel so joyous and wonderful and exciting. And sometimes the holidays can also feel extremely stressful. Um, if you're gathering with family, it can be triggering. If you're gathering with people who have caused pain and trauma, it can be triggering. And so I wanted to talk about accessing your own deep, true, non-external happiness anytime, anywhere. And that's been heavy on my mind. All right. So I'm starting a new segment of the self-discovery podcast called these are a few of my favorite things. And these are me highlighting brands that I absolutely love that are sustainable and ethical. And yes, I am an affiliate for them. So when you purchase, I get a little kickback, but that is what allows me to keep making this podcast and pay my bills. So that being said, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite brands of all time ever lane. They stand for exceptional quality, ethical factories, and radically transparent pricing. Essentially, because they are direct to consumer, they cut out the middleman so you can get cashmere and silk and high quality cotton apparel at a price that will not break the bank. And this is what they have to say about their process. At Everlane, we want the right choice to be as easy as putting on a great t-shirt. That's why we partner with the best ethical factories around the world source only the finest materials, and share those stories with you down to the true cost of every product we make. It's a new way of doing things, and we call it radical transparency. I remember when I purchased my first Everlane sweater. Taking it out of the packaging, I immediately thought, 
Oh, this is what a sweater is supposed to feel like. The quality is truly exceptional, and I know I will have the items I have purchased from them for years to come. When I need a seasonal refresh in my wardrobe, Everlane is consistently one of the first places that I visit. I shop there for my husband as well because he loves their t-shirts and button downs. Anyway, you get the picture. I absolutely love this brand. That's why they are one of my favorite things. And I have some of my favorite picks of the season at the ready for you to view on JacquelineSteel.com slash Everlane. Again, that's JacquelineSteel.com slash Everlane. And you can also get 10% off your first order by going there. So all the links are in the show notes. Today's episode of Self-Discovery with Jacqueline Steele is supported by Ritual. Ritual creates, in my opinion, the best vitamins on the planet. They're traceable, meaning every ingredient is transparently traceable to where it was grown and harvested. They're non-GMO, third-party tested, vegan, and they contain no artificial flavors or synthetic fillers. So guys, did you know that a lot of over-the-counter vitamins have fillers and synthetic dyes, like dyes that make your urine yellow so you think the vitamin is actually working. When I found this out, I literally wanted to vom. Anyway, back to the awesomeness of Ritual that doesn't do that to you. They have multivitamins for women, including prenatal and postnatal multivitamins for men and a multi for children. Every ad in this podcast is hand chosen by me. Every single One, I reach out to these companies personally based on my experience with their products. With Ritual, that is the absolute truth as well. I have been taking their vitamins for about three years. And prior to finding Ritual, I tried many multivitamins, all of which, and I don't know those of you can relate to me here, but I know there are some of you, but all of which made me nauseous and sometimes vomit, especially if I didn't take them with food. Ritual is literally, literally guys, the only vitamin I have ever been able to take on an empty stomach and then not vomited afterwards. I have no nausea, no ill symptoms whatsoever, even after taking it on an empty stomach. In addition, I can speak to their efficacy. Since being diagnosed with Hashimoto's, I've had numerous blood tests and normally people in my position have low vitamin B12 and my blood tests have shown that my B12 levels are healthy. Yay. My husband also takes the men's multi. We have been so happy with ritual, especially since the emergence of COVID. Our health is a priority and such an immense gift all the time, but especially during this time. For 10% off your first three months, go to ritual.com or click the link below and use code Jacqueline Steele. Again, 10% off your first three months, go to ritual.com and use the code Jacqueline Steele, all one word, and have your amazing ritual vitamins delivered right to your door. All the details and links are in the show notes below. So now I'm going to get into the episode, the episode I wrote a couple days ago and share what I wrote as it just poured out of me. So I'm at my computer right now as I write this, listening to classical music, letting it wash over me and pull me into its beauty. Gosh, (laughs) life is beautiful sometimes. I'm six months pregnant at the time of writing this. And I'm creating life and my body is taking over this monumental task without any input from my conscious self. And that's pretty freaking beautiful. On the other hand, flip side, I'm six months pregnant and I have to pee all the time. The baby has decided that my right rib cage is super comfortable and has called that area, which causes such pain and discomfort at all times of the day, home for the last couple of months. And everything, and I mean everything, that I used to wear that was comfortable, like all my go-tos, yoga pants, sweatpants, comfy sweaters, they now feel like they are choking my belly. I legitimately walk around my house with no pants every chance I get, and it's not in a sexy way. (laughs) It's in a penguin waddle. I'm so desperately uncomfortable. I would do anything to get comfortable kind of way. I'm telling you this because all this discomfort 
has been really difficult for me to deal with every day. And I'm so grateful to be carrying this precious life. And I love my baby so much already. But that doesn't mean bringing life into the world isn't extremely challenging and humbling. And whether or not you're pregnant right now, I'm sure you can relate to the duality of life and how there are these moments that are so miraculous and beautiful, coupled with things that are not so miraculous and beautiful. (sighs) What I'm realizing is my physical discomfort has been deeply affecting my happiness. And honestly, I think this is totally understandable and human and relatable for any woman who has experienced pregnancy. But at the same time, I'm still going to be pregnant for another three months, and I don't want to wish my life away during this time. So I'm at a crossroads. I can lean into the discomfort and focus on how difficult this time is, or I can put the weight of my focus on something else. Something that will hopefully bring me more peace and calm and happiness. I think this portal to peace and calm and happiness is really quite simple when I think about it. We humans tend to overcomplicate everything. But really, when I think about it and reflect, the times I've felt the most peace, the most tranquil, the most happy are when I am present. That's why I love traveling so much. If you guys know me, you know traveling, there's nothing like traveling that gets me excited in that level of excitedness. And the reason is, is I have to be present when I'm traveling in order to survive. If I'm not paying attention, I could miss my flight. If I'm not looking at the street signs, I might miss that cafe I've been dreaming about since I booked the trip. If I'm not actively tasting my food, I might miss the experience of having a meal in France in a quarter that serves the best Greek food outside of Greece. When I travel, I feel most like myself and it's because I'm so actively present. But I don't want to limit myself like this. I don't want to only be fully present when I'm traveling or on a date night with my husband, or during an exceptionally good meditation. I want to invite presence all the time. I want presence to be the portal to my happiness. It is, after all, the common denominator when I think about the happiest moments of my life. How do I, or we, do this though? And is it really that simple? I want you to try something with me. Think about the last time you felt truly happy. Not because you just bought something or ate something that you felt like you shouldn't and then felt guilt around it. When was the last time you were really, really whole body happy, like a smile taking over your face that you have no control over? I'm going to give you a few moments to think about this and feel that feeling that you felt. The last time I felt whole body happy was last Friday afternoon. My husband and I had just looked at an investment property and gone out to lunch and we were driving and fully present with each other with such a sense of gratitude that we were creating and living right now the life we had dreamt about living. And it sounds awesome, right? But then how is it that a few hours later I was having trouble sleeping from anxiety over this investment property we had just looked at that we thought was bringing us so much happiness? Here's the answer. I was out of presence. In that anxiety, I was out of alignment. I was past tripping and future tripping and everywhere but the now. The now where I had absolutely 
everything I needed to survive. The now in which today I have absolutely everything I need to survive and thrive. Chances are, beautiful listener, if you are listening to this, you live in a comfortable home with food on the table, clothing on your body, and opportunity at your fingertips. You have access to friends and family and books and internet and possibility. You have access to spirit and a higher power and the opportunity to connect with your soul and all of its inklings. You have water. What more do we really need? If I use myself as an example, my unhappiness is rooted in wanting to be, have, or do something other than what I am doing right now. It's saying, well, when I finally get those boots, or I live in that house, or that person acknowledges me and likes me, or I have this many followers, or go on this vacation, then, then I'll be happy. But we all know this is a lie. Happiness isn't about things or people or even experiences sometimes. Happiness is a choice and happiness is felt whenever we choose to feel it. For me, I mostly experience happiness when I'm present. And when I am present, I am generally very happy. And I think a lot of that is because when I'm present, I experience deep gratitude, deep, deep gratitude for the breath in my body, for the cotton candy colored sunset outside of my window, the dog sleeping in my lap, literally right now, the candle burning on my desk, the music playing on my phone, the sweater I'm wearing that's keeping me cozy, The husband I have a few rooms over who loves me so much that he bawled his eyes out when he proposed. For the sweet life wiggling in my belly, pressing on my bladder, making me have to pee. When I'm present, I feel such a sense of oneness with the life around me. Like the energy I carry and the energy of everything else is dancing in a way that screams, I'm so grateful to be alive. So I can choose to focus on my temporary discomfort right now, on the things that may or may not happen, on the things that have already happened that have hurt me, or I can choose to focus on the present moment, the moment that beckons me to presence, to feel alive and grateful to exist in this space where I have absolutely everything I need and so much more. This delicious presence can be accessed by a simple breath, a conscious looking at the space around you and noticing what is there. The conjuring of gratitude for experiencing this life as it is now even if we don't always understand it. Happiness, my beautiful listeners. Tranquility, calm, peace, whatever it is that you are seeking isn't about having more or doing more. It's about being exactly as you are right now in this present moment. All the joy and bliss and tranquility and possibility are right here, right now, as I speak these beautiful words into your intricately created and miraculously made closely listening ears.